Hello and welcome in this new video tutorial brought to you by HedgeDesignTutorials.com. Today we will discover together how to unblur, restore and upscale almost any human face using DFDNet open source code. Before we start, let me give you a brief description about DFDNet. DFDNet is an AI project created by a team of Chinese students and professors to reconstruct restoring human faces using a pre-trained intelligent application code that is relying on 60 dictionaries containing a huge database of high-quality images and multi-scale facial components like eyes, noses and mouths to recompose almost any human face. So before we get to the installation of this source code, first let's check out how the program works to process images. Here I've got five blurry and low resolution images let me show you closely how each photo looks like. As you can see, these photos are completely out of focus and distorted. So, I'll select all the photos, then right-click and copy the photos. Then I'll go to the DFDNet source code folder. Then I'll open up the test data folder, which is the default folder in where we should put the input images. Then I'll right click inside the test hole folder and paste the images. Now I'll go back to the main DFDNet directory. Then let me open up the running commands text file to copy the necessary commands to run the application. I'll bring up the Anaconda prompt window then I'll paste the first command to activate the DFDNet environment. Now I'll copy the path to my DFDNet directory. Then in the commands prompt, I'll type in cd spacebar, then I'll paste the default path to my DFDNet source code folder. Finally, I'll copy the last command line and paste it in the prompt to run the photo restoration process. After done, DFTNet will tell you that all the results are saved in the results folder. So let's check out the results. Now let me show you how to install and run the DFDNet source code on your Windows desktop or laptop. First, make sure to visit the full article on hedgedesigntutorials.com to read more and also to download the necessary files to set up DFDNet. You'll find the link in the description below the video. The first step in our installation is to install Anaconda. So let's right click the Anaconda zip file and choose extract to Anaconda. Now let's double click the Anaconda installer, then click agree and then make sure the option install for is set to just me, then click on next. Make sure the destination folder for the installation is set to the same path as shown, then click on next. In the next step, leave the settings as is then click on install to proceed. After that, the Anaconda installation is completed. Click on next, then on next again, then uncheck the two boxes as shown, then click on finish. Now, the next step in our DFDNet installation is to install the Microsoft Visual C++ Redistributable. If 
if you have already the Microsoft Visual C++ Redistributable Tablet installed on your computer, then you can simply skip this step. Now let's right click the DFDNet source code zip file to extract it. After extracting the DFDNet zip file, open up the extracted DFDNet folder, then copy or cut the DFDNet folder inside it. Now navigate to your C drive route and paste the DFDNet folder. To make it easier for you to run the source code on your Windows computer, I've already prepared and compiled the necessary Python environment for you to save you time. So let's right click the ready environment zip file to extract it. After done extracting, open up the extracted folder, then open the ready environment folder and right click and cut the test TFDNet folder. Navigate to your C drive, then go to the users folder, then open up your username folder, then open the anaconda folder then open the environment folder and then right click to paste the test dfdnet folder. The final step in our installation is to extract the .cache zip file, so right click and extract the cache folder as shown. Open up the extracted .cache folder, then cut the .cache folder inside it. Then navigate to your actual user folder. Then paste the .cache folder. Now it's time to run the DFDNet source code. So navigate to the DFDNet folder in your C drive. Open up the running commands text file to copy the commands. Then go to your start menu and run the anaconda prompt. In the anaconda prompt window, type in conda, activate, test DFDNet, then hit enter to activate the test DFDNet ready environment. And then click the top address bar to copy the full path to your DFDNet folder. Then go back to the Anaconda prompt window and type in CD, spacebar, then right click and paste the path and hit enter. Now our DFD code is ready to run the image processing task. But first, let's don't forget to grab a photo for DFDNet to process. I'll select this photo so let's copy the photo, then go back to our DFDNet folder, then open up the test data folder, then open test hole and paste the input photo in there. Now let's go back to our prompt window and then let's copy this full command line as shown and paste it in the prompt, then hit enter to run the image processing task. After done the image processing, DFDNet will tell you that the results are saved within the results folder. So let's open up the newly created results folder then open up 
the test hole results folder and then you will find your final result image inside the last folder. Now let's compare both the result image and the input image. As you can see, this is a huge improvement when compared to the source image. Thank you for watching, I hope you discovered something new. Please don't forget to visit the full article on hitchdesigntutorials.com from the link in the description to download all the necessary files for the installation and if for any reasons you got errors while running the source code, then you will find the full installation method in the article. Once again, thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe.